Hey everyone, welcome to Tim's Tips. In this week's episode, we're taking a look at the best and worst glassware types to use with your Flavor Blaster bubble. Let's go. when I jump on training calls with customers struggling to get the Flavor Blaster bubble to work, the cause is actually nothing to do with their technique, the cocktail style or humidity. It's just the choice of glassware. So let's take a look at some standard glassware types and rank them from best to worst. The best glassware types for the bubble are by far coupes and martinis that get wider at the rim and where the wash line comes up quite high, where it should be. Using this glassware type, and ensuring that other best practice tips are followed, you should expect a 100% bubble success rate. Coming in a close second are coupes and martinis that have the same wash line, but the glass narrows slightly at the rim. You should expect a similar success rate using this glassware type. However, they do require more focus as the bubble can't expand much bigger than the diameter of the glass. So you have to release the trigger at a more precise point. In third place, flutes and wine glasses that narrow at the rim and where the wash line will be low. These glassware types require a different technique. Form the bubble above the glass, release the trigger, then slowly place on the rim. Now this technique can be a challenge and the bubble doesn't travel very well, so perhaps consider capturing the aroma, sans bubble, in the headspace of the glass. And in last place are Rocks and Collins glasses. Now this is because the cocktails that are usually served in these are served over ice and sometimes carbonated, which both pop the bubble. Once again, I recommend capturing the aroma in the headspace of the glass, save the bubble for coupes and martinis. For anyone still struggling with their chosen glassware, here are my three final tips. Tip one, practice, practice, practice. There is a way to execute the bubble on any glassware type, so naturally, the more you practice, the better chance you have. Tip two, spray your chosen glass with water using an atomizer. This vastly improves your chances of successfully creating a stable bubble. And tip three, if your chosen glass is proving too much of a challenge, then ditch it. Go with our recommendation and stick to wide rimmed coupes and martinis. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video has helped. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any video requests of your own, use the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.